Wah, wah, wah. So the bike that we just unpackaged when we got to Key West. Scott's brand new last electric bike we have in stock. Took one ride on it around town to get pegs that wouldn't work. <laughs> Left it on the dock, which we weren't supposed to do, but he came in to quickly figure out why our bilges were constantly running. And our neighbor decided to come in at that exact moment, wake the dock, and the bike went swimming. And our neighbors, who have a charter right back there, fished it out of the water, knocked on the hole, and Scott is now taking out the lithium battery pack to try to stop any sort of chemical reaction. Is that what you said? Yeah. Salt water and lithium ion don't go together. So do you think there's any chance of repair? I'm going to stand back here while he messes with it. So yeah, and today's a zombie bike ride, so that was the one <laughs> thing we were planning on using it for besides tootling around Key West. Alright, today's festivities are the zombie bike ride decorated ready t-shirts <laughs> yes we are feeling very zombie like today um, the bike did not get fixed it did get fixed we're gonna it's fixing <laughs> you may have uh, real carcasses for our zombie bikes um, we are meeting our friends and going to pedal from there. So we got all zombied up and went to a friend's house to start the bike ride. Here we are at the Fantasy Fest 2018 zombie bike ride. Catching the beginning of it before we follow in behind everybody. It was a lot of fun watching everybody go by. Um, we got in at about the middle of the pack, but uh, we got to see the beginning of the pack, see everybody roll by and see uh, all the neat contraptions that were made up like bicycles to uh, participate in said event. So for those of you that don't know what the zombie bike ride is, the zombie bike ride was created back in 2009 quickly grew from just a couple hundred bikes to nearly 7,500 in 2016 and everyone said this year it beat all the records. The ride is just a little bit over four miles long and you just kind of take an easy leisurely pace down through these streets and you know people stand on the side and uh, well they give you shots and or water or whatever your poison of choice is. This was our first year participating in the zombie bike ride, and we had a ton of fun. I uh, held back on the drinking until I got done because wasn't so confident in my bike riding abilities while intoxicated. And the flag. What was that? Look, kids, big bird. And our first stop was at Salute on the beach for some adult refreshments as we watched the parade go by again. So 
So what happens when over 7,000 bikes come to a stop at the end of Duval Street? It's a real shite show. We really enjoyed seeing some of the over-the-top makeup and costumes. So once again, we find ourselves down in Key West at Fantasy Fest doing things we wouldn't normally ordinary do as Holly looks out the window to see who's <laughs> watching us. So my wife got me in a tutu. Can everybody see? I can't tell with the Hitler fluff over here. It's yet. there. They, okay. can, they can see enough of it. <laughs> And we are uh, headed out to the Tutu Tuesday party and... Rocking an 80s style. Yep. And uh, gonna meet up with some friends. Possibly our son. And uh... Yeah, I wonder how scarring that is for a 16 year old to see his father in a tutu. But he'll be in one too, so can't say much. Or he can't get in. Alright, signing out. Alright, we will um, catch you uh, tomorrow when it is... What? Warstock Wednesday. That's it. Oh wait, it is. We are here at two two Wednesday. Oh, what's up? So Tutu two, two Tuesday, it's a thing. I have never seen so many grown men and women in tutus in my entire life. And not sure I wanted to. I didn't mind so much. Well, for the most part. Only in Key West can you see your wife accosted by two clowns and enjoy it. Cooler Scooter Brigade. That is awesome. What? Warpstock Wednesday. Heading to the Schooner Bar and our homemade attire. Scott crafted these beautiful bell bottoms about six Halloweens ago. <laughs> we are reusing. And uh, thanks to Elena, taught me how to tie a scarf to wear it at the top. And we're going to head out and uh, Woodstock it up. Yep. We are about to go live here at 7.30. Touch base with y'all real quick. And show you a little piece of the... Uh, there. Of the action. See Fantasy Fest. Um, it has been quite a spectacle. Yesterday, I got my husband in a tutu. Not only a tutu, a lower resonance tutu. Yes, I have food. We'll see it later on, I promise you. I even got my, actually, I didn't get my son. A girl got my son in, into a tutu. That's exciting. As parents of the year. Um, we are here. Down in Marina. Right next to A and B. There is the, we have a prime spot here. We have two spots for cats. We got the, what I think it's a VIP. Yeah. Sure. Literally the dock is back there. And the the bar is right there. The sign doesn't glow, but you can see that the A and B Marina sign right there. Like right at the end. Oh. On day four, we decided to, um, well, do something a little educational that uh, didn't involve drinking. So we finally decided to visit the fort via our bikes. Our kids have been telling us to do this since we started coming here a couple years ago. We are Fort Zachary. Fort Zachary on the bike path doing something other than drinking. What? <laughs> if you can imagine. The fort began construction in 1845 after Florida became a state. The fort was used in both the Civil War and the Spanish-American War. But with the invention of more modernized weapons, it became obsolete. So some friends of ours are flying in for the weekend to participate in the Fantasy Fest festivities. What kind of plane is it? It like flew like right over us. They're not going to see us waving. The biggest 
insane shit show I have ever been in. There are so many people you can't even walk. Ridiculous. This is a shit show from the get-go. Yep. We are dying of heat. It is we are not. literally, um, so what time is it? 7.53. These guys have been pre-gaming all day. We're slow on the uh, up-go. And, um, uh, this corset? <laughs> Holy fucking hell, I know why they were outlawed. That is, uh, I'm pretty sure they were. They should have been like burned with the bras because these are a hundred times worse than a bra ever thought about being. Oh, I like it. It'll make me have nice posture. Oh, well, we could have done that last. I forgot about the vest. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't rip your ear off. Your vest ripped your ear off. Oh, and tomorrow we go sailing. Sunday we recuperate. Monday we go home. And then we might have another charter this weekend. So what you know about that? Anyway, let me get them to take a good picture of us. It smells like vitamin though. Oh yeah. Shame. Wait, show them your flogger, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> flogger, yeah. Are you flogger. I thought you said my frogger. Oh, okay. Oh, that's Kurt and Amanda. Alright, we're on our way. Hey, hey Batman. That is one sexy pirate, if I do say so myself. <laughs> But this is probably the most authentic pirate I have ever seen. Have you ever been to Fantasy Fest before? First time. How do you think so far? I'm so happy to see you guys. I've never seen any Fantasy Fest contest, and I've seen like a hundred old guy dicks so far, and I'm pretty much up to my limit right there. You guys are authentic, you're good looking, and I hope you win. Go over and see the judges there. So we right. stood kind of backstage for a little bit and watched the pirate competition. Then decided it really wasn't our scene and went to go party with our friends. This one is very cold here. What is your name? I'm Diana. And are you guys entered as a team? Well, okay. We then ran into all sorts of curious and fun people along the streets of Duval who may have looked normal from the front, but give them a second, they'll turn around. We met so many fun and interesting people, but all good things must come to an end. And look who stopped by to wish us a safe trip home. No matter how many manatees you run into, you can never get enough of them. They're such wonderful creatures. We are leaving Las Vegas. job filming but a great job partying cruise ships coming in bye bye fantasy fest it was fun look at all of the balls I don't know if you can see them in this thing but literally a minefield I don't understand how people cruise through here at night so we get to the Marathon City Marina for the night and go to more and the uh, we have no reverse so apparently we have some sort of entanglement on the propeller due to all those lovely lobster pods and I'm sure the bottom of the boat is covered in barnacles see it? oh yeah I got my it is fucking crap. Want your little um, t tank? After finding, cutting himself on the barnacles or the knife, he found the culprit. That's just uh, 
it's just not right that they can do these. That's just. Not cool, lobster people. Not cool at all. After the detanglement, we got to watch this beautiful sunset in Marathon Harbor. We went from a gorgeous sunset last night to a beautiful sunset, a sunrise this morning. And we are leaving the Channel of Marathon. Another beautiful sunset on the space between night. Watching some Ozark. Heading probably to Key Biscayne for the night. Key Biscayne. That city right there all lit up is Miami. Miami. Oh. We're coming into channel here. 10 o'clock at night, 9.30. Channel marker over here, you got it. There's a red one. Oh, that's a pretty wide channel. Gotta anchor and wake up to some winds we can sail with. And we're off like a herd of turtles. <laughs> Leaving Key Biscayne. been gone. No. Yeah. No? Maybe the Bahamas is longer. So we talked about going back to my dad's house because we're going to be there for Halloween night. Um, and closer to the show. However, <laughs> looking at AIS. That. That is the cluster that's just a little area. That's a cluster of AIS boats that are currently on our radar. So I'm thinking we travel um, up the river and go to the show and dinner from there. I'd rather Uber in that tra or uh, drive in that traffic than drive the boat in that traffic. I thought it was gonna be bad traffic in Los Solis, but we get back to our dock and there is another vessel at it. We are back a day early, however, since we pay rent at said dock while we're gone, they didn't figure I would have to communicate, but I guess we We are home after two weeks, two and a half weeks, I'm not quite sure, being away from the home, wondering why we have the home again. I wanted to show you my baby, my baby girl's reaction when they see me. adventure if you enjoyed it I encourage you to give it a thumbs up as it helps us out hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and um, be sure to click the bell so you know when we put more episodes out we try to do it every Friday but life isn't perfect life isn't perfect so um, sorry so we get it out when we can but we try we shoot for every Friday stay tuned Space between. Where's my